And hello everybody, hope everybody's alright. And hope everybody's looking after themselves. Yeah. I uh, thought we'll have a walk. I'm not taking a walk today. It's not an audit or all, to be totally honest. Everybody, it's just a walk. <laughs> to be totally honest. Uh, we have got some recordings planned for the um, week, something coming soon, uh, to the channel. Uh, weather wise, it looks like it's actually going to piss down with rain, to be totally honest. So if it starts pissing down when we're waiting for the next fucking 40 weeks that means there'll be no recordings and you can't do it when it's pissing down because it ruins the uh, equipment to be totally honest with everybody but we'll uh, battle along and we'll uh, Stress all on to be totally honest. While I'm uh, walking about, um, if you haven't done already, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to Society X. We've always got some fantastic stuff planned uh, as well. Uh, so go subscribe to Society X. I'll drop his link in the uh, description box below, of course. Um, don't forget to also go over and subscribe to Lifree if you haven't done already. He's got some fantastic stuff planned as well. I'll drop his uh, channel link in the description box below as well. Um, Tell you what's um, been uh, coming along um, in the last uh, few weeks, and it's uh, worth going over and having a look at some of uh, uh, his stuff, and that's uh, the Manchester Auditor. Um, so go check him out as well. Uh, he's got some fantastic videos um, on there. Now we've got a newish auditor that's come new onto the scene as well and um, called Dino, Dano, Dino, something like that um, was worth to go and checking out as well um, Dino was actually one of the people that was in when Catwoman um, 2005 got arrested in uh, Bradford on the anti-protest march uh, thing he was actually there at that as well, so if you like that type of thing, um, go check him out and see what you think. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Catwoman, uh, you can go to Bob over and subscribe to her as well. I'll leave their um, description link in the description box um, below as well. This is all um, Dean Clough guys, if you're wondering.
it's almost like it's a racetrack, Dad. Uh, hello everybody, if you've just tuned in, don't forget to uh, like, comment and subscribe. We're just having a walk today, not really an audit or a walk like that, um, just a walk. I hope everybody's okay, I hope everybody's looking after themselves. This is the best um, way to uh, relieve mental health, to be totally honest. And addiction is actually getting out in the wilderness and walking. Because while you're walking, uh, technically they say your mind's most focused on uh, where you're walking than uh, what it is um, self-harming yourself or your addiction, to be totally honest. Which could be alcohol, booze, that type of thing. They say exercise and getting out and walking is supposed to be one of the best cures. But my opinion on that is to, what happens if you can't walk? You can get out and you're housebound in a sense. Are you supposed to be able to get out and take that exercise in a sense? You physically can't. So technically it's a load of bollocks to be totally and utterly honest with people. Mental health. And that type of thing. People say to you, what's mental health? What's mental health? Well, mental health can be all sorts of things. To be totally and utterly honest with everybody. But the main answer is Mental health is your brain, it's malfunctioning of your brain and what that means is your brain in a sense is scared of something, frightened of something or you've had bad troubles in your life in a sense so your brain is more focusing on that aspect than what it is the other so turn around and say right you're in debt and you owe the bank 10 billion pounds instead of concentrating on your family and looking after your family your brain is panicking and you're getting over exaggerated with owing that bank 10 million pounds so your brain is more functioning on that debt than what it is the day to day life that's mental health in a sense so there you go that's your true answer but what's about that? what about this what about that think of it logically you're going and you've just committed an offence, let's say you're going to get, you've had uh, 
been giving a voluntary interview with the police, let's say, about whatever. Your brain will be more focusing on that voluntary interview with that police officer the more it will day-to-day -day tasks. So that's mental health. Because you're panicking about what's going to happen at that interview. Good answer. Mm. Fuck them. If you really think long and hard and logical, you can suss out where your mental health is. You don't need a therapist. Therapists are there just to make money. It's all they're there for. You don't need a therapist at all. You do it yourself. I did. Did I not? Yeah. You've got to look deep inside yourself and think, what's the problem? Why, 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 why is me? Why, 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 why am I like I am? Why have I tried to do something stupid like take your own life or something like that? Then you look deep inside to yourself and you think to yourself, it's just I've been let down by society and things like that. So I'm going to change it. And the answer is standing up for yourself and fighting it and trying to change things. So your mental health, they're suffering and all that lot is due to the services and that letting you down. So you got to think it's not an easy game. It's not something you can figure out with a click of a finger. It's something that takes a while to actually work out. The problem that people don't realise, the only person who can change is yourself. Yeah. So if you want to change something, change it yourself. It's no good going seeing a uh, psychiatrist or all that lot because they have all they're bored about is how much money they can take off you. Yeah. So 500 pounds for an hour. 500 quid for an hour. Yeah. Some well, of them. Change your seat, you'll, uh, sit down and just you've got a pair of paper and write down what your problems are. And yeah. You sort them out yourself. 500 quid is a nice holiday. Yeah, it is. Well, that's something for you to think about, guys. Well, let us know what you think and don't forget to like, like subscribe and hit the bell. Like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we're actually live. Stay safe guys, look after yourself and ciao.